Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to talk to you about creating, or I should say responding to a discussion board in Turnitin. <coughs> Excuse me. You might be familiar with discussion boards in, say, Google Forms or some other format. Uh, I like Turnitin personally. I think it's a, a great tool that has a lot of different uh, things that we haven't even touched on. So, But today we're going to talk about discussion boards. And so here's what you do. First, you log in to turn it in, and this is what you typically see, as you know. And I'm just going to click on the class, and to get to the discussion board, wait for your internet connection. Mine's a little slow today. But once you're in here, you come up here to where it says class portfolio grades discussion. Click on discussion. And you're going to see any discussion board posts that have been created. Now, right now, it's set to look at all of them, at whether they've expired or not. If you want to just look at the ones that are currently active that you can currently respond to, just click on Active Topics, and it'll show you those. Right now, there's only one in there, so it's and it's currently active, so it's popping up right now. So I'm going to click on it. And right up here, you're going to see the prompt that I've given you that I want you to respond to, as well as any instructions. And those instructions will typically say something like, respond once or twice to this prompt, and then respond to at least two or three other student responses, or you know whatever the instructions say. So after reading the prompt, I will click on reply to this topic. I will type in my comment right here, and then I will click on submit reply. Now, before I get too, for, too much further into this, it should be noted that it's always a good idea to uh, open up a Google Doc or a Microsoft Word document or some sort of other word processing program and type your response in there and then just copy and paste that over onto here. And the reason you want to do that is because, let's say, for example, your internet cuts out or the page refreshes accidentally or whatever, uh, you don't automatically lose your response because this does not save automatically. You have to actually click the submit button for it to save. So unlike a Google Doc that will save automatically, this won't. So I don't want you to accidentally lose like an entire page worth of response or, you know, whatever. So anyway, I can reply to the topic just like I showed you, or I can look at what other students have said, and I can click on reply. And if I click on reply to their comment, I'm replying to only their comment. And you can see not only the original prompt, but you can see their comment that you're replying to right here. Type in your comment, click submit. Okay, and you can do that as you can go as deep down the rabbit hole as you want. You can reply to a reply to a reply, or you know, however much you want. Okay, you can also change how you view the uh, different replies. Right now, it's it's defaulted to flat view with nested threads, which means basically you see everything. Uh, and you can change that up to view it however you want. Just play around with that. And, and uh, yeah. Or you can also show replies from a specific student. Okay. So that being said, uh, you have all sorts of options at your availability. Okay. And that's pretty much it.